This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, April the 6th, 2019. Today is the birthday in 1483 of Raphael, the great painter and architect of the Italian High Renaissance. Raphael is traditionally placed alongside Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo as the three greats of the great Italian painters. Raphael's work is stunning in its clarity and its composition. He was famous for including invisible triangular patterns in his composition, and the forms of the individual subjects were very much idealized. He celebrated human anatomy in its perfection and arranged his pieces like a Greek mathematician. He died very young at 37, but his output was astounding. The School at Athens is perhaps his most famous piece, or possibly St. George and the Dragon. His triangular composition can most easily be seen in the triumph at Galatea, in the Transfiguration, and in the Sistine Madonna. He can be seen all over Rome and completely deserves his place alongside the more popular Da Vinci and Michelangelo. It's also the birthday in 1135 of the Jewish philosopher Moses Maimonides. He was probably the most prolific Jewish scholar of the Torah of the entire Middle Ages. He was also an accomplished astronomer and physician. His work was widely accepted until he became the head of the Jewish community in Egypt. And then for various historical and political reasons, he became very unpopular in his native Spain. His work, though, especially his 14-volume Mishnah Torah, is still studied by modern Talmudic scholars. He's sometimes known as Hanesher Hagadol, the great eagle, for his work. Beyond his theological work, though, he was a huge player in the writing of Jewish and Islamic histories. He was contemporary with the great scholar Averroes and was an expert on Avicenna, and so he got a broad reading from Islamic scholars of the day as well. He was perhaps most specifically remembered as the author of the 13 principles of the Jewish faith. Some are to be expected, such as number one, the existence of God, and number 10, God's awareness of all human actions and thoughts. But some are unexpected, especially for Christians who might not have much interaction with traditional Judaism in the modern world, such as number four, God's eternal nature, and number 13, the resurrection from the dead. Mamonides was born in Cordoba in Spain, but died in Forstat in modern-day Egypt. He was 69 when he died and was hugely important in the Jewish and Islamic cultures of northeastern Africa. Today in 1896 in Athens, after a break of 1,500 years, the first modern Olympic Games began. Officially, they were called the Games of the First Olympiad. They were run by the first International Olympic Committee, which was organized by the French Baron Pierre de Courboutin. He proposed that the first Olympiad take place in summer 1900, but the rest of Europe was ready to go, and they felt that the wait would kill the enthusiasm, and so they went ahead with 1896. The original games were limited to men, and so the modern games were as well, at least at the beginning. The medals were originally silver and bronze, but after a few Olympiads, they retroactively switched to gold, silver, and bronze, the order that we know now. In the first games, there were 43 medal events in nine categories. Athletics, a.k.a. track and field, cycling, fencing, gymnastics, shooting, swimming, tennis, weightlifting, and wrestling. The U.S. took home the most gold medals with 11, But Greece took home the most medals overall, with 46 of a possible 86. Special notice was given to the German wrestler and gymnast, Karl Schuchmann, who took home four by himself. The opening ceremonies were held in the Pan-Athenaic Stadium, which had hosted games in ancient Greece and which had hosted some of the national Olympic events along the way. King George I presided. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.